All right, you cucks. Here we go with another video. Right here on. Everybody loves El Tortuga. But before we get stuck into this uh, alien extravaganza, I just want to give a shout out to my main man, Jason the Situation, aka the Shield of Valley Castle. Uh, give a round of applause for that gentleman. And go sub to his channel. The link will be in the description. Hello. I also want to give a big shout out to my boy, Beerstown, champion of the YWC, King of Kings. He is known as the Bears. Go sub to that boy. Our link's going to be in the description below. Uh, and then give a shout out to my boy, Paul Stone, and to my boy, uh, Seth Rollins. Not the real Seth Rollins. Good enough, though. And um, they are going to be linked in the description, too. So, alright, let's get stuck in this uh, meaty treaty about aliens right these four malevolent alien races are hostile to humanity okay so we got four aliens there uh, two look very similar uh, there seems to be two lizard creatures in there one's a turtle maybe one kind of looks like a El Tortuga maybe it's from my own home planet maybe that's where I come from Oh, my word. Alright. Perhaps one of the oldest questions we as a species have had about extraterrestrial life is that if we made contact with interstellar beings, would their intentions be hostile or friendly? Um, yeah, okay, yeah, I agree with that. Visitors from beyond the stars would possess technology errors beyond our understanding. To be able to come from a point beyond the massive universe we currently perceive. And I agree with that. Absolutely, definitely. There's no... What we currently can see of the known universe, there's no sign of life uh, at all. At all. Nothing. These alien species would like to kill us. Oh, very provocative title there. Uh, said beings would be able to use their technology for good and likely usher in a new golden age for humanity without the need for the horribly corrupted government systems and corporate machines that have an iron grip on it today. Uh, not if Trump has anything to say about it, eh, guys? Oh, ho, ho. Uh, however, the same power could be used to completely and utterly destroy us, on our Earth to dust, or solely enslave all of humanity. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking here? Independence Day, yeah? Oh, wow. Independence Day 2 sucked, by the way, guys. You've seen that? I it was very good. After compiling all of the different stories of alien sittings and abductions, as well as historical evidence of visitors... Oh, evidence of... No, I don't think so. Uh, no. Um, an unexplained phenomenon... Experts have determined that if we are indeed currently receiving visitors from beyond the stuff, which we're not, there are likely multiple races of alien hominoids, hominids, that have come into contact with us. I'm going to read, cult, you stupid bastard. Um, right, let's go down, let's give it a whoop, too far. The cause of this variety of guests could be because our sun is the nearest star for light years around which requires interstellar travelers to drop by our solar system to refuel, while the alien species with less friendly intentions may have taken a detour to Earth. Ah. It is because of this information that experts in extraterrestrial studies and theories have come to the conclusion that they are, at the very least, why, I don't know, uh, because of this, experts in extra studies very four eight what when that would like to hurt us or even kill us oh okay these four races refer to as the oh i've heard of this the anunnaki it doesn't like oh some mad person some mad god person on youtube talk about the anunnaki all the time the draconians draconians the native Reptilians. Oh, right, yeah, that's Doctor Who, right? So they, they were native to us. And uh, was it a Voyager episode? A two-parter, maybe? Uh, yeah, I think I saw something about those guys once on, like, science fiction. 
and the tall greys. So I get yeah, absolutely everybody knows about the greys. I want to believe it's Muller and Scully time. The Anunnaki. First of all, they are the Anunnaki, which are the proposed inhabitants of the currently unobservable planet X that many experts theorize is located in the furthest and most remote reaches of our solar system and is unobservable because it is simply too small and much too far away. The current most accepted theory of what the Anunnaki's mission statement currently is, is scary at best. It's fucking frightening to read this shit. This is fucking scary. Said to have landed on Earth around half a million years ago with the intention of stripping the giant rock of all its precious metals and ores and created the Homo sapien as we know it today. As a full Jesus fuck, as a full source of hard labor via genetic engineering and in vitro fertilization. If this theory is correct, then they would still be on Earth today, guiding. Oh, so they're the Illuminati. They're the Illuminati. Is that what people are fucking talking about when they talk about the Illuminati, the Anunnaki? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, guiding or hindering humanity as they see. Is that right? Oh, I hope that's not right. The Draconians. Hang on. Mm. Ah, lovely. <clears throat> Oof. Nice. Then come the Draconians. As the name suggests, they are the theorized race of battle crazed reptilian creatures that can measure anywhere from 14 feet to a hulk in 22 feet. Ah, oh, and weigh as much as 2,000 pounds <laughs> in the foot skin. <laughs> With a full-scale plate in protecting their skin from attacks, while most, while the most powerful ones reported to have wings for quick travel and getaways. Who's reporting that? Who? Who? When? I've never heard of this. Experts claim that the Draconians would have been the first species to attain interstellar flight and travel and have ever since been purposely hindering planets and preventing other cultures from achieving the same level of interstellar technology and understanding. They are a warrior culture, so they're Klingons, that reproduces via eggs. Oh, it's V! Oh, no, that's, that comes later, doesn't it, V? Via eggs and use battle hormone to speed up the birthday process. Oh, Deep Space Nine, one of those fucking things from Deep Space That's Deep Space Nine, right? They've been watching sci-fi. They've been watching sci-fi. they watching science fiction. It's oh, all of those fucking uh, aliens. They breed them in vats. They uh, they eat white. You know, white tubes coming out of them. I can't remember their fucking names. They can live deep underground in the most remote areas of the Ar Arctic and Antarctic. They believe that they are the only species that matter and are the only species that should flourish. Wow, they're doing a fucking fantastic... Fa fantastic. <laughs> they are doing a fantastic job. Oh, they're tossing off. All right, that's exactly what's happening. They're doing a fantastic job of wiping out the human race. Right, guys? I mean, oh, I've never even heard of you cunts. It even, it's El Tortugas. It's an El Tortugas. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles meets Doomsday. Meets those white creatures from Deep Space Nine or something. Now, that is exactly what I imagine El Tortuga looks like. Look at that motherfucker. Oh, wow. I might be one of these guys. <laughs> I might be a drug I wonder where I came from. Uh, the Native Reptilian. Next up are the Native Reptilian. Who are even bigger Reptilian like creatures than the Alpha Draconian Warriors. These Reptilians are believed to be indigenous to Earth and have a long recorded history of interactions, both positive and adverse, with humankind, with a majority of our interactions being to their gain, using us as some resource. They are th What resource? So how are they using us? In what sense? They're eating us, are they? <laughs> you can eat me, baby. Oh, yeah, I got a lizard, lizard girl sucking on my cock, eating my fucking cock. Ooh, she fucking loves that dick, boy. They're theorized to be holding positions of power from the highest ranks of government, using their human puppets to control the world. This is V, right? This is V. From the dark, they are said to be at the shortest eight feet tall, walking lizard-like creatures with humanistic traits, uh, covered with green scales like their draconian brethren, and smelling of a repugnant, unclear odor 
because they are the superior species. They live deep underground in the Earth's core while letting us humans live on the hostile planet surface. That sounds like the reverse. Wouldn't it be the, the mole people? We force the mole people down, right? Or the, uh, what are they, uh, from <laughs> in the closet. Crab people! Crab people! You've been watching science fiction on TV, mate. You wanna fucking calm down, yeah? Who fucking wrote this? You wanna calm down a little bit, mate? What's going on in your head? Oh, there's the queen. That's, that's good. She's got, like, bloodshot eye there. She's smoking a reef. Ganjaman! She's getting on now. Ganjaman! Look at that. Tall greys! Alright, these classic aliens, right? Uh, and finally are the tall greys, who are the most commonly reported alien in alien sightings and abduction reports. As re represented on TV and other media, they are tall, eight foot tall, bald, pale looking creatures that have master technology that allows them to travel across the universe. <coughs> they are the purported genetic engineers of the little greys that are just as they sound like a small version of the tall greys used for abductions and other covert operations. They are said to possess mind control techniques which explain why they can mobilize so freely and without witness most of the time. Jesus fucking Christ, this is terrible. On Earth, they are super, this is badly, badly written, they are super excellent grasp on technology means they could be from this solar system or the deepest reaches of our galaxy. Who knows, right? And if we don't know, then just fucking guess. That's right, right? So if we don't know, then yes. Aliens are real. I, I, I admit it. If you don't know something, then the answer is yes. So definitely these fucking things exist. Uh, they see humanity as a resource and nothing more and should be feared. And they won't think twice about using you for the most abhorrent experiments. Scorpius there without his clothes on. A little pick and naked Scorpius from Farscape. Remember Farscape, guys? Remember how fucking good Farscape was? Oh, God, I cancel it, but they brought it back in a movie. Woo! Fucking nice. Well done. Well done, uh, whoever made Farscape. From Ben Browder and all you guys, yeah. You fucking classic bastards. Right, anyway, that's Scorpius without his, uh, without his suit on, obviously. That's not real. That's fake. <coughs> Whether you believe in aliens or not, it is safe to say that I would never want myself or any of my fellow man to run into one. Why wouldn't you? Wouldn't you want that? Wouldn't you want proof for this shit? Like, I, the one thing I would like to do... Well, there's two things, right? And I'd absolutely love that. It's never going to happen because it's absolutely false. But I'd love both of these things to happen. Three, really. Uh, and neither, neither of these three things are going to happen. I would like to see an alien. I would like to see a ghost. And I would like to see God. None of these things will happen because they're all fake. Sorry, guys. I know. Oh, my God, I'm sub! I'm sub! Oh, what did he say? God's not real! Oh, aliens! Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh I, I wish! I wish! I wish! I'm in the same boat as you guys. I'm, I'm fucking scared as fuck, too. I wish all this shit was real. I'd love there to be magic. I'd love there to, for there to be miracles. I just... Oh, it just... Ugh. This, what? When? Ugh, ah, ooh. It's just not gonna happen. Sorry, guys. Uh, anyway, that's it. That's the video. There's no more video. You may leave. I have become tired of you and bored of your presence. Uh, but before you do leave, please leave a comment, because I do love them so. And you will get a shout-out. Even if you've already gotten a shout-out, you're going to get another shout-out, because we've got shout-out mad here on Everybody Loves El Tortugas. Because El Tortuga is a sexy little turtle boy. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway... So leave a, leave a, leave a comment, even if it's a hate comment. Thumb this video down, guys, if I'm wrong. Oh, cult, you bastard, aliens are real. Thumb, could you just pound that thumbs down, guys? Pound it down, guys. Pound that fucking thumbs down. Because I love interaction. I love interacting with you motherfuckers. I don't know why, but I fucking do. It's like a fucking drug to my soul. Uh, yeah, anyway, whatever. Fuck off, I guess. Uh, Ah, yeah, fucking cunt. <laughs> fucking cunt, cult. I'll tell you what. Anyway, boom. Done. Goodbye.